Hi everybody, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first time here, I'm glad you decided to stop and take a look around. If you are a repeat planner friend, I have more challenges to share with you for January. Actually, not a challenge. I really struggled this month. I'm sure some of the challenge coordinators are struggling with the holidays as well and getting through them and moving on with everyday life. And two of the ones that I watch, I cannot find their challenges. So today we're doing my own thing for the week of January 10th in my horizontal uh, that I use as a Bible study. And we are going to be using the, the florals book from Happy Planner. There's a winter floral in here I thought was just beautiful and it was a great way to start this challenge or this week. Okay, so if you are new here, you're gonna see that I use the planner guides a significant amount of time. And that is because I am very indecisive when I'm planning and I have to, I change things all the time. So the planner guides allow me to move things around until I get a happy layout. Okay, so, but before we get started, I really quickly wanted to share with you last week's After the Pin, because what you went away with was very plain. And so today I wanted to show you what it looks like all filled out. I'm really happy with this format and it allows me to use an old planner in a way that really works for me. So we're gonna keep moving forward. The first page today is this one. And um, I've already whited out the, the lines. This one here, for some reason, didn't take very good, so let's fix that. Oh, I know why. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's my whiteout or if it's something else, but I'm this whiteout is really fighting me. Okay, so then they have those flowers down the center. You can see them here um, in the last week's spread. Um, I don't hate these flowers, but for today's layout, I needed to hide them. So I put this wonderful uh, worded washi. It's actually double wide. And so it's on both sides of the discs. And in a minute, you'll see why I had to hide it. And then the next thing that I did is I um, put washi over the dividers. Uh oh, did I put it? Oh no, I thought I stuck it on the wrong side. I put washi tape um, over the actual divider lines because remember I write on the center line so it doesn't really matter. Now this washi tape was sticky on both sides. Today is not so sticky, but it did not want to come off the reel. So I am using a torn piece here because I'm actually gonna, it's gonna get hidden behind um, the sticker that's going to go there. Okay, so you're gonna give me trouble. Fine, and you took off my white out. I'm not happy with you. So we're gonna just tear it, there we go. And, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave this torn here. I, what's going to happen here won't really matter that it's torn. Okay, now we're going to put on the other washi piece to divide the, the quadrants so that I can uh, use them as uh, different entries into my Bible study. Now this journal is really not dated um because i don't use it every day uh i felt last year i tried to write in it every day and i felt like a loser because i couldn't do it so i decided this year i'm not going to try to keep up with the joneses i'm going to do what works for me and that may mean that i need to write two three four times a week and i'm already much happier with that I also have a system that's working a little bit better and I have a layout that I like. The other layout had that big peachy orange bar at the top and I hated that bar. 
so um yeah so now I'm going to uh oh kind of stuck on there now I will tell you my stickers have been on for over 24 hours remember that's the controversial part about the planner guide sometimes stickers can get stuck if they are on a really long time and especially the paper ones now hopefully I won't need to play with that too much okay so this is the pattern I chose and I'm going to use it to hide the month because we're clearly not in February and then I'm going to need a little bit of white out there I may have to add some washi tape huh let's see oh I do okay so let's pull this piece off and we'll just get I'm gonna have to wipe that out again. The tape's pretty um, see-through. So we'll just um, start over and that's okay. Oh, you know what? This isn't the one that was super sticky. The other one, man, I couldn't pull it but two inches and it would tear. So, but I got through it. Okay, so now we're going to leave that, but clearly that's going to show. So I'm going to have to put, see if this will cover it or won't. So we'll go back to the old style of whiteout. And it won't matter that it's the old style because all I'm doing here is trying to cover the big black spots that show through the tape. So it'll be fine. Okay, so have you tried using my plan for Bible journaling. Um, kind of just waiting for that to dry, ladies. While that's drying, let's go ahead. You know what? I'll hold my scissors, my tweezers on that. Let's go ahead and finish this side. And I did, I cut, I reversed the tape to make it so I could find the end. Super easy. Okay, now we got that. So I don't really have to date these because um, this planner, because again, it's only four days a week. And I, I felt like I was a failure last year because I couldn't do it every day. And so by taking the dates out of it allowed me to feel like I could achieve it. Okay, so while that's still drying, we're gonna work down here on the bottom. Let's move that garbage cart up. And I'm just going to start by putting my, my flowers down the center or the disc side of the, instead of going on the outside, I'm gonna go down the inside. And I think these flowers are just beautiful. They, again, they're in that florals book, which I, I think, was a part of a box because it's a little bit smaller in pages um i'm not sure i've had it a while i have way more stickers than i um, care to admit and i am starting to print my own um there for a while i didn't think i was interested in making my own stickers but the crafter in me is like, you can make your own stickers and sell them. So I might try my hand at that. I might want to make it in a book, but I'm thinking more of just sticker sheets. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I know that in a year from now, three of my high schoolers will be graduating and I have to find a way to make up that income. So, I think we'll go ahead and we'll put this washi tape down and we'll just finish the flowers at the top. I don't think I want that over there. So I'll tear it back just a bit, just a bit. There we go. And those are the hardest tears, don't you think? Those little bitty ones, yeah. Um, I just have a couple of little flowers to finish this off, but I feel like it's short. 
Um, I think I should have moved those up. Okay, let's see if I can lift them. So I just need to space these farther apart and that will make me happy. I'll just temporarily put that one there and that one there. There we go. That's better. A little bit more spaced out. And then I have room for the two little ones that I have over here on my guide. Okay, so I'm going to put this on a shopping cart in case I need it on the other side. Um, okay, and so the next thing then on this slide would be just the verse finders, which are just these little flags that I, I did find them in this book. And so I'm just gonna put it over the top of this one. I can only find, um, I think I want it like over the washi tape. Um, this is the only dark one I could find. So I put it on the paper because it needed to be a little bit, um, you needed to see it a little bit more. So, and then these three, you know what? Why don't I have a flower on this? So let's let's put this and put a flower behind it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, ladies, that's the end of side A. I, a lot of my plan with me videos are short because I write in my plan with me's or I write in my pretty extensively in my pages. So I have to leave the room open and then I can add back to it after I'm done. Again, I've already got the washi on there and I am, so I'm just gonna start with putting washi tape on. Now I'm not gonna cover these dates cause they're gonna get a, uh, with whiteout because they're gonna get a, um, sticker box a colorful box if you will over the top so it won't really matter i think i want to uh oh now it will matter because that that'll cover but that won't that's the one thing about white out uh ribbon white out when you lift something up that was attached to it it comes up too but that's okay there's always a workaround right I didn't put it over far enough so that um, some of the tear would be in the um, binding area. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put it, I like to follow the line on a washi because that way I get it on relatively straight. So this one I had happened to find a, a sticker in that sticker book with the same flowers on it so that worked out really good now it did come really close to the quote but i'm going to i don't want to play with the quote so i'm going to leave it okay so these are going to go so part of the reason my stickers have been on the guides a while is i have a special needs grandson that lives with me and in the last few days he's really been coming to visit grandma and he sits on my little couch here in my quiet little space and he plays he watches the Disney Channel on my phone and I just can't tell him to go home or that I need my phone because he it's something new and he just started coming back to visit me so I'm not going to take the phone away from him and he usually plays on it for I don't know three four five hours and he sits here and he laughs and he giggles and he that warms my heart so filming has to wait until he is done with my phone and so um needless to say by the time I got my phone back last night and did some of the other things I needed to do, um, it was 12.30 in the morning, and so I didn't do any more uh, recording. Okay, so now we have the other side done. I 
love this color palette. I am not usually a palette girl, a palette girl. I'm not usually a pastel girl, um, but I love this color palette. And I think I'm going to go to this line to line up this colorful box so that that's pretty much square and the same with this line. So that's going to be it for us today, ladies. I hope that you saw a way to use my um, quadrant and to reuse a old out of date planner. I mean, we pay good money for these, right, ladies? Why aren't we using them? Um, the other way I've used an old out of date planner is I am doing Judy at JLB Crafts brush lettering. Um, I guess I'm going to call it a class. A uh, plan with me, a practice with me, whatever you want to call it. I like the way she does it. She really explains a lot of stuff. And um, I think it's a great way to learn. I have already felt confident because I'm following her guides. So you could use this as extra pages or an outdated planner, extra pages for more practice in brush lettering. Um, and that's it for me today, ladies. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you have another useful way to use this kind of a layout, let me know because I'm always looking for those outdated planners. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.